Good evening friends, I am Shubrajit, I am from SRM University, I am doing my BTEC degree in uh, Electronics and Communication Engineering. So as you know, each and every, for every Electronics and Communication Engineer or some uh, other departments like Tripoli, like Electrical and Electronics Engineering and also from Computer Science Engineering, we need to know program programming in microcontrollers and microprocessors. The only difference, uh, so before I'm going to talk about this program whatever uh, so I'm going to tell you about which program I'm going to do today I'm doing one ascending and descending order program microprocessor programming in 8086 believe me the program is not tough it's very easy to implement and it's 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 logically very understanding so the first thing is that we need to know what is the ascending order and what is descending order as the name suggests that we have if we have given some random numbers like 5 10 16 uh, 6 uh, 5 10 16 uh, and uh, 11 uh, and then 9 some random numbers so you have to arrange them in ascending orders like 5 9 10 11 and 16 so we have arranged them in a ascending order and descending order means 16, 11, 10, 9, 5. So this is what my descending order. And this is how we have to arrange the numbers in ascending and descending order. Now we first need to know why we need to arrange some random numbers in ascending and descending order. So whenever we are doing some uh, programs or whenever we are implementing some sort of task in our microcontroller or microprocessor, we need to know, we need to follow a sequence. We need to follow a sequence and we need to go through the sequence accordingly to implement all of the programs. Uh, and we need to uh, give our interrupts in according to this this uh, this manner so we need to know that which order or which arrangement my microcontroller or my microprocessor is going to uh, implement all the functions so this is how we have uh, coded our programs in ascending and descending order to implement them uh, one by one or sequentially or sometimes some random additions or subtraction or multiplication or division or any other logical operations you need to do through this ascending and descending order so we need to know that what is the uh, basic coding for ascending and descending order uh, it, it's it's actually a long program but it's logically very understanding so first we have to know the basic of the ascending and descending order programming the ascending order and descending order programming it follows a method bubble sorting method so Ascending and descending order programming follows the order of bubble sorting method. So what is this bubble sorting method is uh, Whenever uh, suppose we have given some random number like uh, 5 10 8 6 7 9 So given some random numbers where uh, 10 is greater than 5 and 8, 8 is less than 10 and again 6 is less than 8 and 7 is greater than 6 again 9 is greater than 7 so it's actually all the random numbers are arranged are not even arranged or not even uh, like having following any sequence so how we can implement or uh, sorry how we can arrange them in a order so firstly the bubble sorting method states that we have to compare this first two numbers this 5 and 10 if the first number is greater than the second number we need to uh, in, uh, if the uh, first number of the series is compared to the second one if the first number is greater than sec the second number we have to arrange them uh, we have to change the position but as you can see the first number is not greater than the second number so no need of changing their position secondly if we can see when the second number is greater than the th third number so we need to change the position so the next step it will become 5 8 10 6 7 and 9 so Again, if we repeat the process again, we can see that if we compare 5 and 8, 5 is greater than, uh, 5 is less than 8, so no need of changing their position. But 8 is also less than 10, so no need of changing their position. But 10 is also, 10 is greater than 6, so we need to change the position. So again, it will become 5, 8, 6, 10, 7, 9. So repeat the procedure again and again, again and again, and we'll get our ultimate sequence that is 5, 6, 7, 8 9 and 10 so this is how we are going to get our uh, ultimate sequence of 
uh, ascending order and similarly we can do it for the descending order uh, this is this one was for ascending order ascending order so this one was for ascending order and next we are going to uh, see talk about descending order descending order what do you do if the first number is greater than the second number no need of changing the position but if the first number is less than the second number we have to change the position suppose this for this sequence alone for this sequence alone if we can see the first number is less than the second number so you need to change the position as 10 5 8 6 7 and 9 so that's what descending order do so only differences between the first number and uh, ascending order and descending order is that for ascending order first is greater than the second exchange position and for descending order descending order if the first is less than the second exchange their position that means we can get our original sequence as we have stated for the ascending order you can probably understand for the second uh, descending order as well that first number is greater than the second number exchange their position but here as the first number is less than the second number so no need of changing their position but in this case the first if this is the first number and this is the second number this first number is greater than the second number then exchange their position this is how we can implement our ascending order and descending order programming but for descending order is less if the first number is less than the second number so now we can directly go with the programming for ascending order this is the programming for ascending order and i will state the program for descending order as well and then i'm going to draw the flow chart also for ascending and descending order so as you can see this is this si is my source index so this will point uh, the source and uh, it's given with an address 1200 so this 1200 will store my first value so this 1200 is going to so no so, sorry this 1200 is going to store my array size so how many numbers we can take suppose we are given with five numbers or we are given with six numbers so my microprocessor or microcontroller need to know that how many operations or how many numbers they are going to sort in ascending or descending order so for that reason we need to uh, specify our array size and this SI 1200 is going to specify my array size and now in the next turn move CL comma SI so I'm storing my array size data in my CL register and I'm also storing my first number in this CL register again what I'm doing decrement CL what is this decrement CL we can check that later let me tell you something before this coding we can uh, mainly use for our microprocessor kit because this is a microprocessor kit programming where we have to see for our opcodes. This is a machine level, machine language programming. It's, it can also be implemented in uh, uh, micro, any microprocessor software in the desktop. But you need to need uh, do some modifications in the basic lining and that will also study in your microcontroller microprocessor syllabus. But only I'm going to state the logic here. That's all. So decrement seal I'm going to see later that why I'm decrementing my seal register for one value but let me first tell you this seal is going to store my first number and now move si comma 1200 again I'm uh, pointing my source index my program and then move ch comma si so this is going to my store my second number and now decrement ch now increment si so I'm incrementing si to 1201 address 1 to zero one address but in my si let me tell you in my si i'm already storing my first value i've already stored my first value in this si so i'm going to store this um, uh, this value in my l register so i'm going to take my first value in my si register and i'm going to store in my l register this l my accumulator as you if you have if you are already uh, gone through some basics of the microprocessor or no you know there are some general purpose registers like accumulator uh, al register bl register cl and uh, dl all these are lower bytes and higher bytes have already studied but if you haven't then you have to go through the basic spe uh, special purpose registers and general purpose registers of uh, microprocessor and microcontroller now increment si 
now compare al comma si so what is this increment si is that you have to go for the next address 1 2 0 2 so here i've got here it's my 1 2 0 1 that is my first number and this 1 2 0 2 is my second number so now my si is storing my second number in this case my si was storing the first number now compare al comma si so i've already stated that in both ascending and descending order you have to compare the first and the second number so compare your first and the second number so i'm going to compare my first number in my al register and second number in my si register so now uh, sorry i've written it twice pardon so this line is not going to come i've written it twice so compare al comma si this is my first number and this is my second number so this is going to be show my first number this is going to show my second number and after comparing you have to check for your carry so as we know if the first number is greater than the second number then no then there is no carry then uh, there is no carry and we can exchange their position we can exchange their position okay so as I've already stated in ascending order programming, if the first number is greater than the second number, exchange the position. So if there is carry, if there is carry, jump to carry to loop one. If there is carry, then we can uh, exchange the position. We can exchange the position. This is the programming where we are exchanging the. Now, if there is no carry, we can go for that is my first number is less than the second number, and we can uh, check for. Uh, uh, this decrement ch okay so jump to carry to loop one uh, sorry i made a mistake over here if there is no carry sorry i made a mistake over there jump to carry to loop one so if my first number listen to it carefully i made a mistake over here jump to carry to loop one if my first number is lesser than the second number so carry will generate then directly go to the loop one this is for carry if my first number is less than my second number so this is my loop one okay directly go to this decrement ch now if my first number is greater than the second number then no carry will generate as you already know comparing means you have to do some subtraction you have to do some subtraction if my first number is greater than the second number if means that if you subtract second number from your first number you can uh, directly get and if it if my first number is greater than my second number is greater than my second number and if you subtract it no carry will come so you can directly exchange their position now if my first number is second less, uh, lesser than my second number so carry will generate obviously as you know from the normal rules of subtraction carry will obviously generate so you can directly go to a decrement ch decrement ch now what is this ch register is going to store is going to store my first highest number or that is that uh, it's going to store the highest number of this series now jump to no zero to loop two so what is my loop two loop two is this one so this one loop two jump to no zero to loop two so what what you have to do if after sorting after sorting with the first number and the second number we are going to store my highest number of the series and after storing the highest number you have to again go back to the loop two where you have started and now in this si register you are going to store the second number and this second number you are going to store in the sl register and again in the next address in the next address this is now now this one is my 1202 register and in my next address i'm this is my 1203 address so in the next loop in the next loop so after after performing one one time you have already sorted between the data in 1201 and 1202 but what about for 1202 and 1203 so i have to again run the loop so what is the loop loop starts from here move al comma si again you are going to start the loop from here and you are implementing all these things so 
again in this a register you're going to store the data of 1 to 0 to register uh, 1 to 0 1 to 0 to address you in this l register and increment si means 1 to 0 to 2 1 to 0 3 so in this 1 to 0 3 you have your third number so again you compare this uh, second number and third number and from there you are going to get your second large number and you are going to store it in you are going to store in the decrement uh, and in uh, go, going to store it in the uh, same way now what is this decrement cl is going to store it's going to actually point out the next loop it's, it's actually going to initialize the whole program it's actually going to initialize this loop 3 is actually going to initialize the whole program again so you know, not only this operation is going to be uh, implemented but also you need to perform this total address program as well that uh, you are going to start your initial address and then again you have to run the com comparing process so i have to do this again and again so what is this loop 3 your loop 3 starts from here this is your another loop this is your loop 3 so after go going through the loop 2 and uh, that after going to the 1 to 0 to 1 to 0 3 address you are already storing your second and third number so have to perform this until your all the all the all the comparison are going to be sorted out all the power comparison are going to be sorted out you have already uh, implemented all the uh, numbers in ascending order and what is the difference between ascending order and descending order this in descending order you only have to replace this jump to carry with jump to no carry Remember, you have to replace this jump to carry with jump to no carry. Why is that? As I've already stated, in descending order, if the first number is less than the second number, exchange their position. That is, if uh, after comparing, if the first number is second and less than the second number, that is, carry will generate. So if carry will generate, we have to uh, exchange their position. That are already already told. In descending order, if the first number is less than the second number, you have to exchange their position. So in this order, if the is in this way, if the first number is less than the second number, you have to exchange their position. So exchange their position, and after exchanging their position, you uh, you have to do the same program again and again. So there is no modification in descending order. What is the logic behind is that you have to. The, the, the logic behind is this comparison method. So if the first number is less than the second number, exchange the position. So jump to no carry. And if carry generates, if carry generates, no need of exchange uh, the position. That is, uh, if the first number is uh, less than the second number, no need of changing their position. But if the first number, uh, uh, that is, if the, if, the, if the first number is greater than the second number, then no need of changing their position. That is, uh, that is, uh, no carry will generate. And if the first number is lesser than the uh, second number, then carry will generate and have to exchange their position so that is all with the ascending and descending order programming and now you can try with the flowchart from this programming as you know that how to do a flowchart I, I may suppose because you know all the general notifications of the how to make a flowchart so you can try for the flowchart and if you need to know how to implement some more microcontroller and microprocessor programmings you need to subscribe the channel give a thumbs up to the video and thank you